Hey y'all, hey, it's Creative Brand Strategist and Publicist D. Brady, and welcome to Bradyology. So off rip, in the midst of touring, Beyonce dropped that she is going to be dropping something, maybe hair care line or bundles, we don't know. But I'm predicting hair care line. So as Beyonce mentioned in the note, Destiny's Child got their start in her mother's salon where she would also sweep up the floor, they would perform for customers, and they would also hear different women entrepreneurs tell their stories throughout the day. Now we've seen videos that Miss Tina, Mama Tina has put up of Beyonce's natural hair, um, Blue Ivy's natural hair. All of their natural hair is beautiful, healthy, growth. We also see um, Beyonce Destiny's Child recreate the salon in their Bills, Bills, Bills video. A point of view that I saw that I want to speak on is that somebody said that Beyonce is way too private. So that FOMO, fear of missing out aspect or hype aspect of the marketing dies down after a while when she releases something. But because of the storytelling and the proof that we have beyond the initial launch, do we need to see Beyonce in every commercial in order for this hair product to sell? My opinion, I think a lot of CEOs work hard so that they don't have to be in front of the camera so that their product can sell itself. Also, I feel like this can be a line that Beyonce passes down to one of her children to have later on when she's ready to retire and just be done. Now here's a few brain blast ideas that just come off the top of my head. Target audience, I'm thinking wide, but more so for my 3A, 4C people. Now she can start off with a phase one of like age range 17 and up, and then phase two or three can go to like the kids, or she can go full out. Beyonce gives me very art direction and those type of things with like documentaries and stuff. So I'm feeling marketing wise can be geared toward nostalgia. That feeling of being back in those black hair salons or being in between your mom's legs doing her hair. Um, I can see her, her or her mom and team, you know, releasing unreleased footage of when Beyonce was smaller, like those type of things. All the different marketing and advertisement and branding is going on. Obviously, Beyonce is going to be posting her pictures or going out with her natural hairstyles with the paparazzi. But also, I can see her team creating moments of like visiting schools, hair salons on wheels, you know, creating those moments for little girls and guys as well. Instead of the typical rinse and repeat marketing of, you know, the everyday or special holiday, holiday brands, we have something here that has a deeper storytelling beyond Beyonce. But anywho, I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And also click that link in the bio if you would like to book a consultation or get your own Bradyology brand workbook. Okay.